Hey guys, Nicole here, aka DVD Collector 96, and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so happy Tuesday, happy crazy release day, like, there is a lot of releases coming out today on physical media. Me personally, I have like six or seven, something like that. But it's time to start with the very last title for the DC Extended Universe. And today we have the Aquaman sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I recently got on Walmart uh, this first movie upgraded to 4K. I used to have the Blu-ray Target exclusive. There is videos on the channel already, if I'm not mistaken. But now it's time to unbox and review a little bit Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I decided to get this time to complete the DC Extended Universe collection. I decided to get the 4K Walmart exclusive steelbook. And guys, I this was the last movie that I saw last year. I went to my local movie theater. I enjoyed it a lot with uh, the original Aquaman movie. I don't know what happened with this one. I don't know if it was just me not being in the mood. I don't know. I just I didn't enjoy the movie. I felt like bored. It felt like super long. I, the story was so basic. Basically, we got to see him being the king now. Uh, he has a little son. They kidnap the son. He needs to rescue it. I don't know. It just didn't feel like a super great movie. And I just decided to get it because I wanted to complete my collection. To be honest, the end of the DC Extended Universe, like they didn't know what they were doing like for example blue beetle it was enjoyable the flash but now with this sequel of aquaman like they didn't know how to do great jobs with sequels kind of saying so it's good that we're going to have a fresh start but i'm planning to do now a complete dc extended universe video to show you guys the movies that i own on the collection and we can talk a little bit more about it but this movie out of 10 i say i give it a five uh, i don't want to be unfair now that i have it on 4k of course i'm going to rewatch it one more time and i'm going to leave the link down below just in case you want to choose the steelbook there is a few options available for you you can get the dvd blu-ray and 4k uh, regular editions the exclusive design is only the steelbook through walmart and there is also a two movies box set with the original and the sequel but basically, that's my in on the movie. If I don't watch it ever, when I talk about the DC Extended Universe, I will maybe tell you if I think differently when I rewatch it, but I don't even feel like rewatching it anytime soon. So let's see. So we have the steelbook does look beautiful. That I can say. So we have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom that you can see right there is the eyes poster. And then on top, limited edition steelbook it shows you guys the background is amazing it shows you guys the background uh the disc doesn't have any special art it's just like a logo and remember this is the 4k walmart exclusive steelbook this is the first dc movie after best buy decided to jump from physical media so this is the limited edition 4k ultra hd plus blu-ray plus digital code of this is aquaman and the lost kingdom this is a warner brother dc release of course it looks without the string grab uh, taking down that it's a little bit of a Chinese seal book. So physical media release, it's beautiful. I think it matched super good with the first one. So nice to have this one to the collection. And again, this will complete the DC Extended Universe on physical media. So basically that's how it looks in the front. Right there on the top is just a title card. And now on the back we have big promo image right here they didn't use a lot nicole kidman and i forgot the name of the the red-headed lady but they didn't use her well the female cast it wasn't used well and this time the villain is uh the kid of the original movie's villain like it was so repetitive like i would love to know in the comments let me know if you watch it how much did you enjoy it or if you just hated it uh me i don't like to say that i hate a movie but this one wasn't enjoyable, at least the first time for me. So, between land and sea is a world worth saving. As Arthur Curry confronts the responsibilities of being king of the Seven Sea, a long, very ancient power is unleashed. After witnessing the full effect of these dark forces, Aquaman must forge an unsay alliance with an old enemy and embark on a treacherous journey to protect his family, his kingdom, and the war from irreversible devastation. And in this case, we do get special features and 
that save the physical media. I love physical media with special features. And in this case, as a special features, we're going to be getting Finding the Lost Kingdom, Aquaman Wars Above and Below, Atlantean Blood is Thicker Than Water, It's a Manta World, Necrus the Lost Black City, Escape from the Desert World, Brawling at Kingsfish Lair, and O Topo. So it looks like a few special features right there. Uh, of course, in this case, this is the 4K D, so you can enjoy the movie on 2160p ultra high definition with audio on Dolby Atmos through English Dolby Digital, English Descriptive Audio, and uh, audio in English, French, and Spanish as well. And you're also gonna enjoy the movies with subtitles. <coughs> sorry, with subtitles in English HDH, French, and Spanish. So basically, that's what you get. Let's take out the screen grab to see the whole beauty of this steelbook. This was like release, uh, like the pre-order link was super early on. I did get it, but again, I just love steelbooks. So let's take out the screen grab. Okay, so taking out now the G car, that's how it look. And now this is how the steelbook looks. So it has a shiny picture right there. It's plain that it's just shiny, so that's how the front looks like. Then the sides, and now the spine right there, the Warner Brothers logo, the title of the movie. And then the background is just pretty simple, uh, another piece of ice right there. It was so like bad for me that I don't even remember a lot why it's the ice uh, theme. I remember, like, I remember the ending, uh, but I don't remember a lot about what they were fighting for. At some point I started using my phone. That was how bored I was. So this is my digital code that I'm going to be using and as usual we have right here on the side the two disc the 4k in this case is a yellow 4k disc right there and then we have a green blu-ray disc that's how it looks and to be honest the uh, the image that they use for the inside I do love it a lot it's a really great background picture right there so physical media release, just judging the physical media release, again, I loved it. Uh, the movie, again, I will rewatch it, I have it on 4K. I'm planning to rewatch the complete DC universe uh, when I upgrade it to complete 4K, as well as I'm going to do with my rules. And it matches the beautiful now 4K steelbook. These ones are being sold on Walmart now. So if you're interested to upgrade your 4K collection and to get it as a steelbook, Walmart has a few options available for you. But this is basically the morning video. I decided to start with this one. And in the afternoon, you will have the unboxing of this beautiful seal book of Wish celebrating the Disney 100 anniversary. But for now, that will be all for today's video. Like I always say, I hope you guys are enjoying with this new kind of content in the channel. If you are, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can keep this from growing. And see you guys again soon on a new video.